So one of my favorite things to get when I go to a, a Mexican restaurant is pollo y hongos. So when I go, I get, chi it's chicken, cheese, rice, and mushrooms. And it's all really, really good. But since I'm low carb, I say no rice. So I kind of am experimenting and that is what we are making today. My version of pollo y hongos. So watch the video if you want to see how. Look at that. It's got cheese and riced chicken and it's going to be nummy. Hello, welcome to my channel. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Thank you for watching. Okay, so to start this off, I have my riced chicken in a big cast, uh, cast iron skillet. This is one of those big frying, like this is the kind that they use to fry chicken. Um, but I have the riced chicken in here. This has been frozen. And so right now what I'm doing is just kind of, I've got it on low, I'm not trying to cook it. I'm just trying to get all that extra liquid out of there. So in essence, I'm trying to dehydrate it a little bit. So, um, so I'm just gonna let this go for a little while and let it get some of that water evaporated out of there and then I'll get back to you. I just need it to be a drier texture. Okay, I'm satisfied with this. What I did was I took a paper towel See how kind of light and airy that is? I took a paper towel and kind of pushed out some of the liquid to help get the help it get out faster. I just I'm, I'm going to be adding liquid to this, but I figure this can kind of help dry it out a little bit, and um, so that way what liquid it does absorb is the liquid we add to it, not water from being in my freezer for you know several weeks. So, now, now, now. Okay. So we're just gonna set that aside. Look at that. This is riced chicken. See how light and airy that is? Dry, just like rice. So you can just take, take ground chicken and just, look, it's light and fluffy. I could put jasmine. I don't know what flavors people put in rice, but anyway. So, all right, next step. Look at my quality assurance. There and there and back there. So we have Sammy, where's my hand? Lou and Callie. That's my quality assurance. I'm gonna put some ghee in here. And uh, we're gonna let this melt. And then we're gonna saute up some onion. So we'll let that melt and I'll get back with you. Okay, so we're gonna add some frozen chopped onions. Let's see how much. Listen, if you don't want the extra carbs and stuff, feel free to leave out some of these things. You know, I do a lot of vegetables now because I'm not concerned about them. So that's why a lot of times my total carbs are higher than what some people's are, but I'm giving you total carbs and not, um, I'm not giving you the net carbs. So if you count net carbs, it'd be less than what I'm, what I'm telling you. So that's a hundred grams of the frozen onions. I'm going to saute those up a little bit and I'll get back with you when they are nice and sweet and softened. Okay, now we're going to add in some sliced mushrooms. We're going to do about half the bag. So, how many servings is in this? Three and a half. Okay, so 130 grams of mushrooms. I'm going to saute that up. And I'll put this back in there, in the freezer, I mean. I'll close this back and put it in the freezer. I am going to add some salt. Okay. And then I'm going to keep sauteing it. So a few weeks ago, I made some cream of mushroom soup. Um, this has equivalent of it's one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. What did I say? About 100 grams of mushrooms and 
two cups of chicken broth. So that is what's in here, and it was homemade chicken broth. So um, I'll be adding this in a little bit. And um, anyway, but this is homemade cream of mushroom soup. I also have homemade cream of chicken soup in the freezer, but we're going to use this one today. Coming along, there's still a little bit more water in the bottom of this that I want to try to, to uh, get out of here. Just to kind of bring out the flavors a little better. And then we'll get on with it. I'm going to add 43 grams of these bacon crumbles. You just, bacon makes everything taste better. Yeah. So we're going to put that in there. And I'm going to let it go just a few more minutes. So we're going to add 600 grams of rotisserie chicken. I've weighed them all out. Whoop. Two. Right now, I just want to kind of warm it all up together, let it kind of absorb the flavors. Some of it's white meat, some of it's dark meat. I'm going to put the lid on it. Actually, I'm going to go on and add the cream of mushroom soup and put the lid on it for a few minutes just so that way it can all heat up together. And taste it. Yeah, that's good. All right. So this is gonna be a very mushroomy, flavory thing. First, that brought the temperature down real fast but uh, anyway so I'm gonna get that all stirred in together and I'm gonna cover it so let it simmer for I don't know four or five minutes till it all kind of absorbs the flavors hey I have a question if you all do your cast iron and you clean it and you go to hang it back on the wall and it's too hot am I the only one that puts a rag behind it so it doesn't scald the wall I'm just curious if I'm the only one that does it. Anyway, okay, now, let's see here how it's going. It's looking good, looking good. It's got that cream of mushroom soup and the chicken in it, and the bacon and the onions and the mushrooms. Now we're gonna take a little taste here. Give me just a second. Get a spoon. bite of chicken it's gonna burn me but it's gonna be good it's one of them things that what do you do you just burn yourself and hope for the best ah. ow it's hot but it's good that's really good so I use my uh, my spatula here, and my pancake turner. You know, some people call these spatulas. Some people call them span pancake turners. Some some places call them both. What do you call this piece of? What do you call this utensil right here? Sometimes I call it pancake turner, and sometimes I call it a spatula. Spat's not a spatula though. Really, the spatula is the one that you use to scoop. You know that little rubbery thing that you use to. To scrape stuff out of the bottom of a of a bowl, but um, anyway, I'm just curious. What do you call yours? Now, I'm gonna put my rice chicken on here. Look at me grabbing that like I don't have any gloves. Grabbing it like a wild heathen, ain't I? Like I'm a wild thing. All right, stir that in. Then, then I'm going to put on the top of it, oh, that was 180 grams of riced chicken. On the top of it, I have, this is funny, it's 99 grams of the Fiesta Blend Reduced Fat Cheese. It is a blend of 
reduced fat cheddar, Monterey Jack, Asadero, and queso quesadilla cheese. So I'm just going to put this over the top of it. What I was originally thinking, but I didn't do it, um, when I go to Mexican restaurant, I love the uh, mushroom, chicken, rice, and cheese. That's like my favorite thing that I get. But I know they put some like jalapeno-y type spicy stuff on it. And I ain't got that. The only got, thing I got is that Southwestern stuff. I could put a little of that on there. A little bit of this. I could put a little bit of this Mrs. Dash Southwest, Southwestern Chipotle. But it's called Pollo y Hongos. And I love to get that when I go places. And I know it definitely needs more salt. Because... I did not salt anything but the onions. And we know chicken is, yeah, not salty. All right, so I've got this oven set on 350. So I'm gonna turn the burner off and I'm gonna put it in the oven. In this cast, this is where it's nice when you use a cast iron skillet, you can only dirty up one thing. Let me scrape everything down from the edges so that way it doesn't burn up there. Not part of the actual meal. So I'm gonna push it all down. All right, so we are going to put this in the oven. Ziggy, set an oven timer. 20 minutes. Well, I have her volume way down, so I'll double check in a minute. So I'll do an oven timer. 20 minutes, and I will get back with you guys. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. And let me tell you what the macros are. I, this is going to be four servings. It'll be 551 calories, 73 protein, 22 fat. It's either 10 net carbs or 11.5 total carbs. Take your pick. So that is what it's going to be. And I'm going to, oh, I can turn the oven off. Let it cool and we'll put it in servings and see how it goes. Okay, here we go. You can see it's got, let me get you up close. See the chicken, the pieces of chicken, and there's the cheese, and there's a mushroom, and the little pieces of rice in there. So that's how it looks. It's going to be yummy, yum, yum. It's still steaming. I want to make sure I get some bites of, of course, there's all chicken all throughout, but I want to make sure I get bites of mushroom in there and a little bit of cheese. There's some cheese right there. I want to get a bite with cheese on it. I'm gonna cuss. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Get it? Chicken dinner. <laughs> anyway. So, <clears throat> there you go. Super, super yummy. Super easy. Rotisserie chicken. You don't even have to use the riced chicken in it. Use rotisserie chicken. Saute up some onion mushrooms. Put the put the put your uh, chicken back in there. And put some cheese and some whatever kind of southwestern seasoning you want. And delicious. So, okay, bye.